Welcome back, True Believers. This is Raktar, and today I'm going to be playing some more Tokyo Jungle. In case you're asking yourself right now, if you missed the vote, the answer is no. You did not miss the vote. And, uh, that is, that is amazing. So in case you're wondering, in case you're sitting there asking yourself, did I miss the vote for which animal Raktar would be playing next? The answer is no. You did not miss the vote for which animal I'd be playing next. Um, I love the little sound he makes when you eat stuff and drink stuff. This is amazing. I am already in love with this dude. It's just so funny. But yeah, so the reason I'm playing as this animal is because many, many episodes ago, many moons ago, it's actually not that many moons ago, but um, a few episodes ago, when I played as Homo erectus, some viewers did point out that I should, um, like in the voting video, they're like, oh, Raktar, after you play as the office worker, you should play as, or after you play as Homo erectus, you should do the office worker. And I didn't. But today, I was like looking and I was gonna do a vote video yesterday. But, um. But what I decided, that is amazing. Oh my gosh, this guy's got the moves. So, yeah. When I was thinking about doing a vote video or whatever, um. When I was thinking about making a video to vote on, or whatever, like I said, I was looking at the characters and I was like, I kind of want to play as the office worker, and I don't want it to be up, you know, like sometimes I just like get the urge to play as a certain thing, so I made the executive call to just like play as the office worker. By the way, I am in love with this guy's like, um, oh crap. His, well, firstly, his sounds that he makes, but this, his, uh, his pounce, his pounce is absolutely amazing. Yes, oh my gosh, I'm gonna defeat ten animals in no time. I'm killing it at this rate. So you may notice that I've opted to not mark any territory right now, and the reason for that is actually because somebody pointed out something very apt in the comment section, of one of the Homo Erectus videos that I hadn't thought of that actually makes a lot of sense. So, since you can't mate as Office Worker or Homo Erectus, and for that matter, as Robo Dog as well, but I haven't played as Robo Dog yet, their idea was that um, you shouldn't go around, you shouldn't go around uh, marking all the territories because. A lot of your challenges are based on marking. So if you go around marking up the territories, you're not going to be able to, um... What am I trying to say? So if you go around marking up a bunch of the territories, you're not going to be able to, um... You're not gonna- oh, you're not gonna be able to mark them later when you need them for a challenge. And my reasoning before, if you remember when I was playing as Homo Erectus, the reason I was like, Oh, I gotta mark these territories is like, so I can use the bed, in case shit started going south, but I think that argument, the argument uh, that using the bed just isn't worth it if it means, like, fucking yourself over, was a pretty fair argument, and where is all the food at? Hmm. There's still a bunch of food at Shibuya Station, apparently, well, I'm gonna head through Dog and Zaka, at least, to get this food, so yeah. In case you're wondering, like, why I'm not marking anything, it's because I cannot mate as, uh, as office worker, so I'm saving those for when I have challenges that actually say to mark stuff. Dude, it's, it's such a weird thing to think of, like, a human just, like, killing, like, uh, like a golden retriever. Like, I think a human would get his ass kicked by a golden retriever if it came down to it. Like, human versus- oh. Oh, what the... What the fuck? This beagle... Did he just call his friends? I don't think he did. Okay, for a second there, I, I thought... That beagle alerted the authorities to my presence. Which could be pretty bad, because... I feel like beagles could probably kick the ass of human... Oh, and by the way, that level up was, like, adorable. But of course, leveling up... 
hardly important as a human because um can't mate anyway. All right. Dude, when does my first um wow. Wow, I don't even have a marking. This I I must have gotten really lucky. I don't even have a marking until A rank. Technically, I could mark a bunch of shit if I really wanted to because yeah, holy fuck, I don't have to mark for a long time. Whatever, though. Just to be safe, I think I'm going to not mark things, but hopefully, because I was just thinking, I was like, well, it sure would be nice if I could sleep right now, and then if I could sleep, I could... What is he saying? Oh, I mean, I don't understand Japanese anyway, and he's saying something in Japanese. I really wish I knew what he was saying, though. I wonder what happens when I put the gear on the human... It probably looks like it's probably just like stretched out. Yeah, like that looks normal. Let's uh Oh dude, that's pretty sweet. All right, we're going to give him that. Um pet collar is pretty ridiculous. See, headphones look normal. Outdoor bandana does not look normal. Like none of this shit looks normal on a person. Oh, oh and this stuff, I guess I can't equip it on him because it wouldn't fit him. Okay, that makes sense. But I probably can put on... Yep. <laughs> I can put on these ridiculous-ass things. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing that I can wear that shit as a human. God, seriously, I love the way... I love the way the office worker, like, creeps. I love the shit he says as he eats. I'm, like, really love... I'm glad that... Oh! Whoa! Holy shit! I just took down that fucking tiger. Dude, that tiger came out of nowhere. I'm actually really happy that it, um... That it decided to attack me in that way. You know what I... Like, I'm really happy that it decided to... Do, like, a stealthy jumping attack at me. Because I think that... If it hadn't decided to do a stealthy jumping attack at me... I would have just gotten my ass kicked by it. Also, oh my god, the human can. I was like, can office worker double jump? I thought maybe they wouldn't include the double jump for the office worker since uh, but you know no animals can really double jump but I was like humans definitely like if you were to say one animal in this game shouldn't be allowed to double jump I'd probably go with the human or with the office worker just because like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that it should be able to do that but hey you know what I didn't design this oh this hyena saw me Dude, the- holy shit, Office Worker has a lot of attack power. I feel like they probably maybe gave Office Worker a lot of attack power to make up for the fact that once I- that my hunger is going to be depleting forever and ever and ever and never regaining, and so they kind of wanted to make the Office Worker stand more chance. Also, is that a- oh, that's a hyena. That, like, lightning- oh, crap! Dude, I was trying to be all sneaky, but what happened was... So I was trying to be super sneaky. And then the game... Uh, made it so I couldn't, like, get my reticle on that guy, and then it just fucked me over. But holy shit! Look at the plant down here. I'm gonna, like, get so much food. Dude, oh, yes. I think I already met all my challenges for... <laughs> Dude, you know what he should say w when, uh... <laughs> He ranks up as he should be like, Yatta! But, um... I don't even know what Yatta means. I just know that there's that funny song... Which, I should leave a link annotation to the song Yatta, because that song... I don't know if you've ever heard of it, or heard it. It is a ridiculous musical number that I was... I, I, would, I could not stop listening to it a few years ago, just because it's like... Five dudes wearing um, it's a it's a it's a musical group I think called Green Leaves, and it's uh five dudes wearing uh like leaves over their dicks, and just being really happy, singing a song called Yata. Like if you look up Yata right now, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But I feel like it's better for me to just link that shit. And you will know exactly what I'm talking about when I'm like, ya da, ya da, da 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 da, da 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 da. Dude, this guy is freaking awesome. You know what's funny? 
Does this guy reminds me of? I don't need, dude. I don't. I don't even know what I was about to say. For some reason, it just made me think of like anime and and like people, and it made me think of the fact that I'm going to a sweet anime convention in like a month and a half, and I'm going to PAX. Oh, that reminds me. I need to. I'm supposed to start looking for a plane ticket to PAX. See, they say when you're traveling, the best time. Um, the best time to buy a plane ticket, like, there's no science to it, but generally the idea is you should start looking, um, you should start looking, uh, to, like, they say two to three months before your actual trip, and that way you can get the best plane ticket price, and if I want a sweet, see, it sounds like he's saying, like, mushy, 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 but I don't know what he's actually saying. But yeah, like, the, they say that the best plane ticket prices are gonna be... Whoa, fuck, it's already spawning alligators? Probably because I've got such high attack power and the game is trying to... Game is trying to punish me for it. Oh, there's a beagle. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Dude, no. No, 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 no. Beat him. Oh, look, they're fighting each other. That's perfect. Dude, I can't even tell if anything's actually, like, fighting me right now. Or if I'm safe. Alright. Whoa! Oh, shit! A wolf! Dude, I should be able to, like... The human... The office worker should be, like, an omnivore. Because... When I got home from work today, I'm pretty sure I ate a couple bacon cheeseburgers. And let me tell ya... That's definitely not plants, but... You know, actually, I guess it kind of makes sense for the uh, office worker... To be a plant eater. And I'm, I'm gonna kind of stretch things here. You're gonna be like, Raktar... Please explain your line of logic here as to why the office worker would be an, uh, a herbivore. And here's here's my reasoning. You're gonna, like, once you hear it, you're gonna be like, Oh, that makes a lot of sense, Rektar. Is because if you're just eating raw food, human stomach can't process raw meat very well. But a human stomach can process raw plants just fine. So maybe that's their logic. But then it's like, dude, I'm a freaking office worker. I'm pretty sure office workers can start fires, right? Oh shit! Uh, what is that event? I have never seen this event before! What is it? A ferocious beast was sighted- That's amazing! And it's just a- <laughs> I wonder if I kill this silky terrier if I get a, um... I get this mask. I want this mask so badly. I suppose the answer is no. Did you see that? The silky terrier was just wearing a lion mask. I actually like that and, um... You've seen the other event like that, the math where it says like the master of disguise has come to an area, and usually when it says the master of disguise has come to an area, it's a golden retriever wearing bunny ears, and it's and it's just like hanging out with a bunch of rabbits in hopes of um luring them in with his bunny ears. Okay, this is it now. Now I have to start murdering again because. My challenge has begun. All right, so we're gonna start. Sorry, chick. I may, I may not be able to eat you, but I do have the challenge to murder you. All right, what are my other challenges, by the way? Twenty-five hundred calories. Head for Shibuya Shop District, which that's actually why I started heading back this way. Was um, I was like, oh shit. I was like, I should start heading for the Shibuya, the Shibuya Shop District right now. In that way, I can do my shit. If I was well, like, if I head for Shibuya Shop District now, I can just get that challenge out of the way right off the bat. And then hopefully, there'll be plenty of animals for me to murder like this pig! Yeah! With my sweet charge- Oh, dude, this beagle wants to fuck! Dude, I- if- hey, beagle, if this were like, a little bit earlier, I would be your owner, so... You should fear me, and this last pig... Now it regrets its decision to come after me. Oh, this whole family of pig wants to mess. Dude, I am a human being. I am the former king of the world before this event, before these terrible events uh, came to Tokyo. I was at the top of the food chain, and now I can't even eat you. How ironic. Human beings, once at the top of the food chain, now they can't even eat all these other animals. Bullshit. All right. Well, at least I can still eat these sweet grasses, and hopefully that will give uh, my human body the nourishment. See, dude, I feel like it would just be hard, you know, to get enough protein as the human being right now. 
uh, to live. Like, maybe it would be beneficial, you know, for me to, like, start a fire or maybe find a working oven or something. And that way I could take on the world with a more balanced diet. But instead, oh my gosh, dude, this is... This, look at all these kills. Oh, these birds gave me fleas, though. Oh, did you see that? That bird was actually gonna try, uh... It gave me the evade. That bird was actually gonna try and, like, come at me, like, full on. That would have been impressive. I would have liked to see, except for... I think that, like, there's the off chance that maybe that bird would have actually been able to, like, kill me, but... I don't know. I think the odds of that are pretty small. I don't think the game would let, like, a bird kill me. Oh. Oh, I saw that hyena at the last at the last second. Oh, and there's my 15 animals. That means um friendly friendly herbivore beasts of the Tokyo woodland. You no longer have to fear me because I'm no longer going to go out of my way to murder you. Doesn't that make you happy woodland beasts? Where do I have to head to next actually? Oh, it's okay. It's back in Daganzaka. All right, all right. That gives me a plan of what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna well, firstly. Oh, I don't have to kill these sheep, dude. It's like I want to kill those sheep now, though. Holy shit! I want to see if I can kill a dairy cow. I mean, if I can kill a tiger, you know, I should be able to kill a sheep. I'm actually gonna mark, and I know you're gonna be like Raktar. You shouldn't be marking because you're gonna mess up your challenges but look I've only got to mark 10 times in all my challenges so and the reason I'm gonna mark is because at some point I am gonna have to save other cuz I'm not really in the mood to re oh damn it fleas I was like I'm not really in the mood to record for like as long as this human's gonna live cuz that could be a while and I just don't think I could uh, record for that long but yeah so I am gonna mark mark a little bit at least enough so I can save I actually really lucked out with the marking challenges, to be honest, because Homo erectus, um, so like like I said, somebody pointed out, I don't think I would have been able to do all the marking challenges because I was marking so much when I didn't need to. But now for Office Worker, I had like hardly any uh, marking challenges. And by the way, where all the food at? Oh shit, huh? All right, so oh whoops, uh, don't go to. Why did I go to help? All right. See here, so I need 453 more cal uh, calories. Alright, that's not that bad. The reason I was wondering is because like, I've got five years, and I want to start heading back towards Dog and Zaka so I can do those challenges when they come up. So I was like, I really got to make sure I get these calories, but I think I saw some food on the top of these buildings, maybe, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I am mistaken. Well, it's daytime, so I should be able to... Okay. Okay, there's a couple bits of food on top of that building. That might... Is that going to be enough to sustain me? And also... I'm not sure if I know how to get to the tops of these buildings here. Can I go into one of these? Um... Dude, I know there's a way to get up on top of these buildings. Like... I've been on top of these... Oh yeah, this is the one with the stairway. Okay, so this is the easiest one to get up on. I'm just being like... I'm just being a freaking dumpski. Ooh, and... I am going to have to kill this animal because he's going to he's gonna try and front. Oh, crap. Dude, I couldn't get him because my fleas were attacking me when I needed to... My fleas began attacking me when the red reticle came up. Dude, I got to find some water. I've always... Actually, that's one thing that's always kind of bothered me about this game. Is that, um... You couldn't, um... Like... You can't wash fleas off by standing in the rain. Like, I can honestly say... I think that should be able to wash your fleas off, but... For as long as I've been playing this game, like, you just... If you got fleas... You're stuck with them, unless you find, uh... Oh, that's a cow. Good, good. Good. It's not something that'll kill me. But it's like, yeah, if you got fleas, you gotta find water or have flea shampoo. But it's like, if it's raining... Like it is right now... The rain, like, shouldn't I just be able to, like, take all my clothes off and wash it off in the rain? I don't know. I feel like that is a completely fair request. Oh, there we go. There's a plant. I'm coming up close on the years now, too, though, so I really got to keep my eyes open for these plants. And hopefully, I can score a 100-calorie plant. Like, hopefully this is flowers. Oh, well, it's grass. I wonder how many calories... Oh, well, 
Who cares? That is... That is apparently all I needed. Except for now, what I really need... Is a pool of water. I think I know where there might be... A pool of water around here, but I'm not 100% sure about that. But... Oh man. So I could go for the pool of water, or... I could... I, I want to go back to the point to mate right now, though. Just so I can... Take a little... Can I jump over this fence and get onto those things? Oh. That makes sense if you could do that. Oh well, I'm right next to a... I'm, what am I complaining about? I'm right next to a freaking staircase! Ragdar! You stupid dumpski. You're right next to a staircase. Oh look! Water! I like how it, it makes you uh, suffer from fleas one more time. Before you, um... Whatever. You know what I mean? I'm sure you know what I mean. Even though I'm not using very good English, you know what I mean. Oh shit, now this area is polluted. Well, anyways, I actually think I'm going to end this episode right here. In the next episode, I am going to continue the Office Workers of Adventure, and I wish I could ride this dairy cow. In the next episode, I'll be continuing my adventure as the Office Worker. This has been Raktar. Thank you for watching.